what's up guys welcome back to my channel today we're doing something so different than what my channel has turned into but i mentioned a few months back that i had a video on my channel where i showed you guys exactly how i edited my videos and everything but i guess i broke a guideline or something like that and youtube ended up taking it down so i was very disappointed in that i was literally getting comments on it all the time saying how helpful it was to people and that people loved it and i'm really sad that it's taken down so i said that I was going to recreate it for you and here I am doing that today. It's honestly kind of like a blessing in disguise because I have learned so much since I even uploaded that video so I'm excited to share some new things that I've learned with you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into iMovie. Okay so first we're gonna get into iMovie and if you did not know iMovie is the icon that looks like this and it comes on any Apple device I believe and it is totally free to use. So when I'm editing my videos I usually do every single video the same. Typically I will go one time through the entire length and just like cut out anything that like I messed up saying something. I don't want that part included in there. Something happened or I'm showing something that doesn't need to be in the actual vlog. So I cut that out. I call that like my rough cuts. So I go through the whole entire video and just do that until I have like basically everything out that I want out. After that, I will go through again. And this time I will like do the specialty effects where like if I want something really zoomed in or if I want something really cropped in, I'll do that. Or if I want to add over Overlays or you know the date and the time and stuff like that and then I add in my music and then after that I will go in and pick out clips to add in my intro and then after all that's done I watch it one time through to make sure everything looks perfect and that is the process of how I edit it so I just wanted to briefly explain that before I show you guys so tomorrow I am posting my Valentine's Day vlog. So that's what we're editing today. Okay, so I already have like all the footage in here because after I film, I like to like immediately upload just to see like how long it's potentially gonna be and like make sure I have all the footage. Uploading your files is super easy. If I'm uploading files from my camera, then I will take my little SD card out of my camera and stick it in my computer and then a little thing just pops up and shows Shows me all the files and then I just drag them and drop them into iMovie but if I record on my phone I'll airdrop them from my phone to my MacBook I go to this little trash can down here go to downloads and then I just have like all my files right here and then I can just take a file click on it and then just drag it in to the little section where you put the files at now that we have like all our clips here in iMovie, they're small and you can see like all the clips lined up. I just learned that, I accidentally learned this, like I was clicking something and I randomly found this setting. But if you go up here to settings right here, you can actually change the clip size, which makes it so much easier to edit in my opinion. I don't like it too big to where I can't hardly see anything. So I'll kind of like bring it to like right there and it's just like perfect to edit. So yeah, again, that's like right there at settings and you just just click out of it. You can also change the size of this like screen to make it smaller to where you have more room for your editing clips. But I kind of just go like that. And then you can spread out the length of the clips, which is very important because you need this to be able to edit it. So right now they're really conjammed and small, but if you take this little cursor right here, you can like spread it out and it gets longer and you can see like really just down to every second what's happening. So here is the little sound bar thing down at the bottom. When you upload anything into iMovie, it's just gonna automatically set it at 100% volume. You can easily change that though by just clicking on it and dragging it up or down. You can go all the way down to zero volume or all the way up to 400% volume. I typically just keep it around 100% volume, but yeah, it's personal preference. You can also change it by clicking on the actual clip and then going up here to this volume button and moving this little cursor here. It does the exact same, but I typically just use this little sound bar right here. Now for like cutting clips, as you can see like this clip right here is just like not needed. I'm not even speaking and it needs to be gone. So I will go in and cut this clip and I'm gonna delete that part. So how I do that is I have selected the clip that I want to cut and I can right click and push split clip, which is gonna split the clip in half wherever your cursor is highlighted. Or you can go in and just push command B and it does the same thing. I use both fairly often. I just get in a habit of doing 
doing one way and then the next time I'm doing it the other way. It just really depends. Both are very handy. And so since I don't want this clip, I'm just gonna right click and push delete or you can just push the delete button on your keyboard. Another way that you can like cut out things or cut down clips is you can split a clip and then where the clip is split you can take the end of the clip that you are not really wanting in there and then you can drag that clip to the part where you want the original clip to end and then you can take this one and kind of drag it to where you want it to stop. It's just another way to cut out a part of the clip that you don't want in there anymore. So yeah I'm gonna go through this whole entire video and doing all my rough cuts just cutting out parts of the video that that I don't want in there and I want to get rid of and then I will come back to you guys with the next part. Okay so I finally am done with all the rough cuts of my video that took like a little less than an hour. Usually I have vlogs that are way longer than this like the footage will literally be like two hours worth and it'll literally take me like a few days to get through but this vlog was pretty short so I only had like 20 minutes worth of footage and I got it cut down to about 13 minutes. Now I'm gonna move on to the next step so in iMovie when you are editing and you want to add like overlays and music and stuff like that your file is going to be like the middle line and if you want to add like text or anything and overlays that's gonna be a file that goes up here on top of the video and then music is going to go down here below the video I can make it smaller so you can see so like down here below the video so when I'm starting up here I always say hey guys welcome back to my channel and I always put a little pop sound and then like my Instagram handle. So when I say channel is when I start the overlay thing. My channel. So right there. So I'm gonna take this little pop sound that I use for every single time and I'm just gonna drag it to where this word channel starts. So now it sounds like this my channel. iMovie comes with a lot of sound effects, titles, backgrounds, and transitions. So I get most of my sound effects literally in the audio section. Um, you can go to sound effects and they have like all these different ones, which is so handy. Um, I use this the golf hit a lot. So many ones in there and they also have like music in there that you can use as well. But that is how I get my little sound effects. Now I need to add the overlay because the pop sound is like for the overlay if that makes sense. So all of my files that I've used are always going to be like right up here in my iMovie library. And I'm going to use this right here. It's the Instagram one that says my Instagram handle and I'm going to bring it down and put it a little bit in front of the actual pop because this green screen has a little bit of an entrance I guess or an animation that kind of delays it from starting right on time. So that's why I started a little earlier than the bottle cork sound. And as you can see right now, it's green and you can't see me anymore. I made this overlay in Canva, which is super easy. Canva is free if you choose for it to be free, but you can also pay for it if you wish. But really to make these overlays, it's super easy. You can just do a green or blue background and then put any text on it that you want. But with the text, you just want to avoid green or anything like that. So I just put the green screen overlay in here and now I'm gonna go up to this little drop down box right here that says cutaway. Make sure you're highlighted on the actual overlay and then go to green slash blue screen and that's going to take the green away. So now all I'm left with is my Instagram handle which is exactly what I want. So now this is what it will sound and look like. Welcome back to my channel. So it like just all kind of flows together. This is something that I do for every single video. So now let's say that like I want to zoom in on this one. So right here I kind of like burn myself and it's kind of like comical. So I'm just going to like kind of emphasize it, like crop in a little bit. So I'm going to split the clip right here and then I'm going to highlight the clip that I want to crop. I'm going to go up here to this little like cropping box right here and then I'm going to go to crop to fill. And then you can drag the arrows of the box and make it how you want. So now when I play it over, it kind of like zooms in at that part. Is he right now? Ow, son of a bitch. I just burnt myself. I am. If you wanted to, I could have done a Ken's burn, which is the same thing basically, only it's like zooming. So I'm going to go back up here to the crop box and go to Ken's burn and see how it has like a start and an inbox. The start is going to like zoom in to the inbox for the length of the clip that you have highlighted, if that makes sense. So this is what it's going to look like. I am currently like touching up my... To see how it like zoomed in. That was kind of fast. 
but I use the crop to fill and the Ken's burn in every single video that I do. So that is important to show you guys. Another thing that you can do in iMovie, which I don't really do often anymore, you can highlight a clip and then you can add a freeze frame. Wherever your cursor is highlighted, it's going to freeze that frame for four seconds, I think. So I started it and then you can see that the frame is just frozen at that spot and then it goes out of it and goes back to the original frame. Um, but I don't want that, I just wanted to show you guys. So I'm just gonna do Command Z and undo that. So say that I wanted to do like a time lapse of me finishing my hair. I actually didn't do it in this video. But if I had like a really long video that was like 10 minutes long or something and I wanted to show the entire thing but I wanted to speed it up really fast, I would highlight the video and then go up here to this little speedometer thing and then there's a speed drop box. You can either slow it down or you can make it super fast. You can do the freeze frame like I just showed you or you can make it custom. Um, but if I wanted to do fast, I could do like two times the speed, four times the speed, eight times the speed or 20 times the speed. The main time that I use this is like when I'm either doing my hair, showing you guys doing makeup or cleaning is a big one what I use it for and when I do cleaning I'm usually like doing laundry or vacuuming or doing dishes or whatever and I'll always put that in like the eight times speed or even the 20 sometimes so since this is a small video I'm gonna show you guys the slow version instead and you can also do many different speeds with this see how it's going in like really slow-mo if I wanted to add like a clip filter or an audio filter, click on the clip that you want to change it to. And let's say I wanna change the clip filter. I'm gonna go to these like little three circles up here and go to clip filter and click on the none. And then you can like change it between all these different clip filters which is fun. Or you can go to audio filter and change it into different like tones of voices and stuff. The main one that I use is probably the pitch down to or the pitch up to, so. Today we are going to church and since it is today we are So that's a pitch down. This is a pitch up. So it just kind of changes the, the tone of your voice and it's just kind of fun to use sometimes. I mainly use it when I'm like explaining a conversation that I had with somebody, but I'll use their voice as the changed tone, so that's kind of fun. And then this little paint icon symbol up here is how you can color correct. I don't do this a lot, but sometimes I just need to. So right here you can change, you know, the exposure of it. You can make it a cool tone over here or make it more warm tone. This is the saturation of everything. So I actually like that kind of cooler tone that it gave the video, which kind of leads me into my next thing that I wanted to show you guys is how I can copy this clip and then paste it to multiple different clips. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push Command C on the clip that I want to copy that copies it. You can either do that, you can right click and push copy either way. And so I'm going to go in here and make my icons smaller now so I can see majority of them because I want to change all of the ones where I was in here in my beauty room. I'm gonna highlight all the clips that I was in my beauty room doing my hair and makeup. So I'm gonna just click and then drag while I'm holding down my click, drag all the ones that I want to highlight. And then I'm gonna go up here to edit up at the top toolbar, go to paste adjustments, and then go to color correction. And it just changed the color correction for every single one of those highlighted clips, which is so easy. I remember I didn't know how to do this, like maybe until like six months into editing. So I would literally go into every single clip Clip and do it manually and it just was so time consuming. This is so much easier and yeah, we love. And then for like titles, you can go to the titles tab and they have just different title sections that you can do, which are super handy. They have like little fancy ones where you can do bling or sparkle or like a little Star Wars one. That one's kind of cool. If you go to the backgrounds tab, they have different backgrounds that you can choose from. Sometimes on my cropping in and stuff, I like to get like a little more fancy than just cropping in. So I'll take like a black screen or whatever, drag it down, bring a clip above it. So where it's like considered an overlay. Let's cut this out, the extra part that we don't need. And then I want the background to be seen. So what I'm actually do is I'm gonna change this from a cutaway. So I'm gonna click on it, go into this little Little icon right here change it from a cutaway to a picture in a picture and then I can drag it and make it whatever size I wanted so now my crimped hair it just kind of cropped into the black screen with the, my video on top it's just a different way to like crop in just kind of fun 
And then transitions I use all the time. I like to add transitions when I'm at one spot, but then I start filming in a new spot, if that makes sense, like so a new setting. So right here is where a good example would be. So I'm crimping my hair in my beauty room and then I just like show you me fully dressed and everything in my room. So I'm gonna add a transition in between the two. And typically the transition that I use is this cross zoom one, but they have so many different other ones. I use this fade to black one when I'm transitioning from one day to the next. Next. So yeah, they have like swipe ones, slide ones. They have a lot, honestly. But I'm just going to take this cross zoom one and I'm going to drag it and then drop it right where I want it. And then I'm also going to go back over here to my audio boxes or whatever and I'm going to get this golf swing sound. And then I'm just going to like stick it inside like the little zoom so it's going to sound like this when you guys watch it. Halftime show. So here is the trick. So like the little zoom kind of sounded like it made the little golf swing hit, which just adds more, you know, character to your videos. But yeah, that is something I do like in almost every video as well. Okay, another thing that I wanted to show you guys was if you click on a video and you right click it, you can go in and detach the audio, which will take the audio away from the video so where you can delete the visual of it. But if you wanted to keep the sound, it comes down here to the sound wave area. I use this sometimes. I just can't really think of any instance that I use it right now, but I do use it sometimes. So I just wanted to include that in there because I do think it's helpful. Okay, so now I'm like at the end screen. This is my screen that I made on Procreate and also Canva. So I made the actual like background on my iPad using Procreate and then I added like the text and everything on Canva. But when this shows to play, I like to have music. And for all of my music, I use thematic music. Here's all the music that I have downloaded. And sometimes I keep it the same for throughout every video or sometimes I like to change up the end screen music but for the intro music I usually keep it the same every single video unless I like find a new song that I like so yeah if I were to want to use this song I would just take it and drag it down below my clips and that's where you're gonna see the music there is another little music area down here if you can see this little box right here that I have highlighted you can add music down there so I can just take a random song and then add it to this music box it doesn't actually attach to the clip it has its own little section that's another option to adding music so it's gonna be like this but there's a certain point where I like to start my music, so I'm gonna find that. So I want my music to start right here. I'm gonna split it, and then I'm gonna delete the beginning of it. And then I don't want it obviously super loud. I want it a little more loud because I'm not talking or anything. So I'm gonna bring it to like 35%, maybe 40, because that's like the main sound of the clip. And then this part I really love. I use it literally every single time I put audio on. It's this little fade audio in. So you click on the audio and it'll pop up this little like button right here with like two arrows and you can drag it to where it's gonna like slowly fade in to however far you drag or however little far you drag. So I'm gonna go just a little past the starting. So it's gonna be like this now. See how it just kind of faded in slowly. And then I'm also gonna do that at the end. So I'm gonna come to the end. I'm gonna split the clip because I obviously don't want the music playing longer than what my video is. So I'm gonna delete that end. And then I also want it to fade out too. So I'm gonna take this little button and bring it in and fade it out. So it's like this. So it just like faded out to nothing. I love that feature. It's like one of my favorite things. So at the end of the video, I'm always like, okay, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe, all that jazz. So when I say that, I like to have like those things pop up and show you guys. So here I'm saying, give it a thumbs up. So I know that my thumbs up sound is the bottle cork. So I'm gonna put that right there. And then I just got this green screen thumbs up little icon from YouTube actually. So yeah, I'm not gonna show you how I did it because that's why I got my video taken down last time. But you can always Google how to get green screen aesthetic videos or whatever. So now I'm just gonna drag it down to like where I want the green screen to start. And then again, I'm gonna put this a little bit in front of the actual sound because it takes a minute for it to slide in. But I also need to go up here and then make it a green and blue screen. So it's gonna be like this. Like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you wanna see next.
and then I like the way that it comes in the little thumb emoji how it enters so I also want it to leave like that so I'm actually gonna copy this clip and then I'm gonna paste it directly after it and then I'm gonna copy the clip that I just pasted I'm gonna go up here to this little speedometer tool and then I'm gonna do in reverse so now it's gonna repeat it just in reverse and so now it exits the same way that it came in I love that feature as well and anytime that I say hit the subscribe button I always want to put a little subscribe thingy that like pops up so I'm gonna get my subscribe button that I made off of Canva and green blue screen it and then put a little clicking sound that I also got from YouTube so it's gonna be like this Ready? make sure to hit the subscribe button so yeah I pretty much think that's it as far as me showing you guys how I use iMovie um, I'm not done editing this video. I still need to like go through completely add all my overlays and add an intro and stuff like that But I've shown you basically how I do all that. I just didn't show me actually doing it if that makes sense so yeah, once your video is all edited and you've watched it through and you love how it is, you can go up here to the little share icon at the top right corner. And then I always export my file and I keep it on the iMovie, the video and audio. 1080p is the best resolution if you can do that. I know sometimes you don't have that option if depending on what you filmed on. My quality is high. I would never go more than high because if you do that, it's going to be a humongous file and it's going to take forever for you to upload it to wherever you're uploading it um, and then I'm just going to do for the compressed I'm going to do better quality and yeah I'm going to hit next and then it's going to just ask me where I want to save and what I want to save it as and click save I'm not going to do that because I don't want to save it because I'm not completely done with it yet but yeah I just want to show you guys and then once you start to save it you'll see a little timer come up here that'll show you like how much more time it needs until it is completely saved but yeah I think that's basically it I really hope this video was helpful for you guys I feel like it was so much harder trying to explain it to you this time around versus the first time I did it I really wish I had that video to like go over what I showed you guys and how I showed you things but I do not have that video anymore so it kind of sucks I will leave links to everything that I use down in the description so like Canva or if you wanted to check out thematic music or literally what I use to edit like I have a little lap desk here that I use my little wireless mouse anything that you guys want to know or you, like maybe you want to try out to make your editing life better I will leave it down in the description box below but yeah I really hope you guys got something out of this video I'm debating on even uploading it because I just feel like mind boggled right now and I really don't know if it's gonna be helpful for anybody but I hope it is so if you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below what you want to see next if you haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me and I guess until next time I will see you in my next video bye guys thanks for watching go out and make the world smile Bye.